Welcome to the Range Rover Autobiography. And if you're wondering how this car finally came to the channel, I'll tell you. About a month ago, I put out a poll and asked you guys, let me know what new brands you'd love to see on the channel. And a lot of you voted for Jaguar Land Rover. In fact, some of you went as far as writing comments saying anything Range Rover. Well, good news. Someone from Land Rover South Africa saw your comments and invited me to their facility just to spend the day putting millions of rands in water, driving it around through trenches like that. There's a whole lot of stuff I want to show you, including some of its features, its practicality, and definitely the cost of ownership. I say some of its features because this vehicle has a lot of features. A lot. If I were to tell you everything, the review won't end. So ladies and gentlemen, allow us to get started. Let's kick off our review by actually going on the road. We'll come back to the off-roading stuff a little bit later. The model I had here is the D350 Autobiography. It comes with a 3-liter turbo diesel engine. If you're wondering about the water, I'll explain it a little later. First, guys, this car will clean the air. You see on the screen, they say it's 41. I don't know it's 41 watt, but it's 41 dirty air inside it's only five so if you're driving through smoke or behind a smoking car don't stress your range rover will make sure you're breathing clean healthy air ah guys well done range rover well done over there as you can see you can adjust your air conditioning controls you have proper dials so easy to do while you're on the move coming back to the engine 3 liter turbo diesel engine it produces 258 kilowatts and 700 newton meters of torque they say it will do 0 to 100 in 6.1 seconds which is very impressive for a car of its size and speaking of its size you might be looking at this range rover and thinking how do people park these cars because it's so long it's so wide don't stress they thought of everything it has something called all-wheel steering so Unlike a Polo Vivo or other cars, this one will turn both the front wheels and the back wheels. This helps to reduce its turning circle, as you can see on your screen right now. It's an excellent system, so despite its size, it's very easy to park and move around. But before we get back to the driving, can we just appreciate the design? Look at how smooth it is. I've never seen a car so smooth in my life. This is, this, this just tells you it is meant for the soft life. Soft things nice things the best things in life anyway let's get back on the road before i get carried away it obviously has adaptive cruise control it will stop itself in traffic pick up speed it's pretty much doing most of the driving you're just there to keep an eye on it and monitor the car i mean parking what is parking huh i mean it says don't stress brah i got you you just put it in the right position and boom it parks itself um oh you don't feel like coming out of that same parking don't worry it'll take itself out of that parking it wants your life to be as soft and as easy as possible now cars parking themselves is nothing new even a polo can do that so it's not anything groundbreaking but with that said all cars have four wheels all cars have an engine but it doesn't mean the driving experience is always the same when you experience it in a range rover it's a little bit different and when I say different, I am not exaggerating. You can put a lot of cars through this water, but will they come out the same? That remains to be seen. With this one, it has a lot of different driving modes, among which you have wading. So you can actually go through water like this without having any problems. And I know some of you are thinking, mm, let me just buy a Range Rover and go drive through a river. I'm not saying that. But if ever you came across water like this, especially for those of you in Centurion, don't stress, your Range Rover got you covered. It seals itself off completely. Not a single drop of water will even make it into the interior. It simply goes through it, keeps on driving like nothing ever happened. The only signs that you went swimming are those few drops of water. That's it. You don't have to replace your seats or your engine, nothing. Everything is still in proper working order. And don't be fooled by the Range Rover's good looks. It can do things some cars can only ever dream of, if cars dream at all. In fact, if ever you're just driving around and you take a wrong turn, find yourself in a road like this, Normally, people will come and say to you, no, no, you can't park there, you can't park there, but ah, here, you can park wherever you want. You can even park on two wheels. You can park, go out the car and go do that. 
it's still not even phased it's nothing but you know what would be something liking and subscribing hold on when i saw him do this i was thinking what are we doing what are we doing to this car that is almost four million rand what are we doing but very calm very composed it's not even phased it is built for this it is engineered for this but let me know in the comments if you owned a range rover would you do things like this or you'd just be happy knowing if ever you found yourself in that kind of predicament you could easily drive off like it was a normal tar road bear in mind the rover is sitting on 23 inch alloy wheels normally that is a recipe for a very uncomfortable drive but because of its air suspension it really feels like you're riding on a cloud that's how most people describe it but to get the full experience without buying a range rover you can actually go to the jaguar land rover experience prices are on your screen for those of you who are interested you can go there spin around drive a jaguar if you want or you could drive in a range rover sport if that doesn't tickle your fancy you could always go into a defender there are a lot of options a lot of different pricing just check out their website but before we get to prices, let me show you the back seats. To be honest, I still haven't decided what I like more. Driving this car or being driven in this car because the back seats are also a very nice place to sit. Even from just looking at these seats, you can tell they are very comfortable. Not only that, you can control a lot of things from the back seat actually. You can adjust the sunroof, I'll show you that a bit later. You can adjust the seat heating. You can even recline the seat by first reclining the seat in front of you so if you need more legroom and want that proper vip experience that's all you have to do as you can see there is a screen behind that seat it also adjusts in position when you recline the seat you can connect your hdmi cable and get some work done or maybe watch a movie you're rich it's all up to you anyway in terms of legroom in that position well it's a lot i feel like the designers and the engineers and everyone behind this car sat down and said how much legroom do we need and the answer was yes because it's a lot sitting back there while being driven you really feel like an executive yo being a millionaire is nice anyway the doors soft close you just put the door there and it'll close itself and because land rover knows that there's a high chance that if you can afford this car you can afford a driver they've given you all the power in the back seat as well you can open and close your panoramic sunroof while relaxing from the back so you don't have to bother your driver while you're chilling there and on the topic of chilling you'll be happy to know that in the front you have a proper refrigerator it will keep your drinks nice and cold although i know some of you won't be keeping water in there just know whatever liquid you put in there irrespective of its percentage will be kept nice and cool and your drinks won't be the only ones that are cool because you have heated and cooled seats as well very nice touch you have a 13.1 inch curved touchscreen with wireless apple carplay and android auto and if you're over normal mirrors you can flick it into a camera takes a bit of getting used to it because we're used to actually looking into a mirror to get that depth of vision but from what i'm told it's pretty handy especially at night now last but not least we have our boot we have a split folding tailgate in terms of capacity it is 1050 liters over there are your controls for the tow bar for the air suspension as i'll show you in a bit but if you want to be romantic or just want to spend some time reflecting on how rich you are you can do that just chill just relax i'm telling you this car will put a smile on your face and if you have someone with you plenty of room to sit with the love of your life and may i just say stance is not a crime especially if you're in a range rover as you've noticed throughout the review while we're off-roading the suspension was raised high and when you park it it lowers itself as well and even while you're driving depending on the road conditions the suspension will adjust itself just to keep you as comfortable as possible and this goes without saying you have an electric tailgate all in all i'm impressed i even had to give the range rover a round of applause well done range rover well done and if you haven't noticed you are watching the 35,000 subscriber special if you still haven't liked this video please like if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please subscribe support local youtube guys it's the right thing to do 
road to 50,000 subs is the hashtag so let's make it happen and speaking of making things happen as you may already know we've been nominated for the automotive award by the dstv content creator awards no need to vote judges will decide in the segment but results will be released sometime in september i'll keep you guys posted but from my side thank you for making this channel what it is today let's talk prices you can get the Range Rover in a whole lot of models actually with a whole range of different engine options diesel, petrol, hybrids, there are a lot but I made sure I do my research so I give you the correct price of the correct model this is the Range Rover Autobiography D350 it comes in at 3,760,900 Rand on finance that is 73,526 Rand over 6 years at 12 percent interest a full tank will cost you around 1750 rand at the current diesel price and for your insurance unknown unknown insurance i mean what must i say Six thousand rand i don't even want to lie to you let's leave out insurance your total cost of ownership without insurance is seventy five thousand two hundred and seventy six rand if there's someone who knows what insurance range rover people are paying please let us know in the comments and for those of you who own a range rover please share your ownership experience in the comments below as well what has it been like parts service those type of things just to help the next person who's interested in buying into the brand the Range Rover comes with a 5-year, 100,000 km maintenance plan and for some added peace of mind, you get a 5-year, 100,000 km warranty. And I'm sure there's still someone thinking, 3 point what million? Don't worry, this car is its people. It's got its target market. In fact, that's not even the expensive one. You can get the petrol version with 452 kilowatts for nearly 5.3 million rand so this one that i was driving is actually a bargain <laughs> yes you can laugh but it is a bargain because you get a lot of stuff i could even mention all the features in this one review if you want more information on the range rover just go over to their website look for the model you want check what features it comes with you'll see there's a lot i didn't mention but in this review i've made sure to give you a rough idea of what the range rover can do and what it is like and how much it costs but all things considered i see why it's so popular with officials royalty politicians it makes sense land rover knows what they're doing it's a very capable vehicle a thumbs up from me guys don't forget to check out my sponsor changecast.co.za i'll leave a link in the description but from me to you until the next one take care